Good morning you carpy lot and welcome to Carping Forever UK with Scotty P. Um, so today you join me down at my local park lake. I know I've already been down here once before um, but it was a very last minute decision um, to come down here at the beginning of the week. Completely forgot that I had the weekend off. Um, yeah so I come down here um, I ended up coming down last night. I wasn't actually booked on until uh, Sunday, which is this morning. Uh, but I ended up coming down the Saturday and I've spent the Saturday down here. Um, just wanted to try out a new spot, see how I got on, you know, to see if, um, see if I can get something on the bank for you guys. Fortunately, I did. Um, I don't know if any of you watched my how-to carping, but I had um, a nice little 10 pound common on the IQD rig that I tied um, last week on that. Other than that, there's been no real action through the night. Uh, we are in the middle of a storm and it is really, really windy. Um, I've just got up this morning. I got up quite late. I normally get up at about four, uh, freshen up all my baits and start spobbing out and all that. Um, but it was so windy and so cold that I think it was about an hour ago, which was about five half past five in the morning um, that I finally got out of my pit and uh, decided that I was gonna do some bits and pieces um, yeah so on that note I'm gonna have a cup of tea um, and hopefully I'll see you in a little while with a nice carp in my hands tight lines guys Bloody hell guys, should have brought me bucket and spade. Look at it, it's so choppy out there. Oh well, let's hope it brings the carp in. Afternoon you carpy lot. Um, just thought I'd jump on, do a quick uh, lunchtime update. No carp action, unfortunately. Um, I think that the wind and the cold breeze that we're having has just kind of turned them off a little bit. They're not, they're not getting their heads down feeding. Um, I'm set up with the wind blowing up into my uh, swim. Um, I feel like the carp are up this way. As a fact, matter of fact, I know they're up this way. Um, it's just a ma matter of how I'm going to get them to get their heads down feeding. Um, I'm using quite an oily mix, but I'm not fishing the way I'd normally fish. I'm not putting tons of bait out. Um, I'm just fishing for that bite uh, at the moment. So it's looking good. Um, hopefully we will have something to show for it later on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you outside. Hopefully it's, um, I mean, it is really, really windy. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, and I'll show you the spots that I'm fishing. So then guys, as you can see, I'm down on um, my local park lake. Um, it's been, been pretty busy this weekend. That far bank you can see, it's been, been pretty packed out. Uh, a lot of people are packing down slowly and starting to head off home. Um, and there's, I mean, this bank as well where I'm fishing. That's been quite uh, quite busy, but as you can see again, everyone's sort of packing down and slowly starting to head off home. Right, so, my spots.
the way I've just zoomed in on there, my middle rod is just about, oh, I'm getting blown over it, just about here somewhere. Yeah, and that's uh, where I had the, um, the 10 pounder from last night. I'll show you a picture of that in a second. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get any footage last night. Um, I didn't really get uh, set up in time to uh, get the camera out and all that. Um, so yes, yeah, so I only managed to get a bit of, uh, a, bit of a picture. Um, so my left hand rod, yeah, is not as far out as that. I've kind of just slung that one about probably about five wraps, five to six wraps, just about here, just with um, a PVA mesh bag of uh, pellet on the end um, and a pineapple slime ball wafter. Um, again, I'm just trying to fish for a bite. I'm not trying to to get them feeding. At the moment, it's it's how am I going to get them to get down feeding. Um, on my bait. Um, so my right hand rod is, if you can see where them, um, no not them ones. My right hand rod is these uh, reed bushes here, yeah? Where that drain cover is about what? say in the water yeah is where my right hand rod is um, that's produced three bites so far um, two hook pulls unfortunately didn't land them uh, and one one bream <laughs> uh, which I've not long had to be honest so yeah so they're, they're my spots Again, that's the lake. Look at how, how windy it is, and the wind is just hacking up into this area. It looks absolutely carpy as hell. So, fingers crossed. Let's hope we have something on the bank soon for you guys. Tight lines. Evening you carpy lot, um, there was no fish at tea time so I, well sorry, there was a fish at tea time but not worth writing home about, uh, just uh, just another bream uh, on the middle rod on the IQD, um, absolutely nailed in the, uh, in the bottom lip, I can't fault this rig at all, um, so like I said thank you guys, the ones that are watching my how to videos. You know, thank you for forcing me out of my comfort zone and forcing me to try new things because um, it's building new confidence in myself as well. So the other reason I didn't do a tea time update was because I was busy recording a live video um, for my Facebook page um, because I'm running a competition to um, to celebrate 100 subscribers, um, but also I've set myself a target of 300 as to. So when I reach 300 subscribers, I'm gonna pick the winner. Um, so yeah, head over to that video. I will um, leave a link up above here um, so that you can click onto that and, and watch that and find out how you can enter my free competition. Um, so I haven't moved anything. I've just literally spotted out 10 spoms over uh, my middle and left hand rod 
which are both out towards the buoy that I showed you earlier in the video. Um, and my right hand rod is still down the margin to my right here, um, down to the reed beds. Uh, the weather has actually taken a turn for the better. So hopefully, um, you know, with the wind calming down and uh, the temperature is planning to rise tomorrow um, and it has risen a little bit tonight. It's a lot warmer tonight than it was last night. Um, so hopefully that might have an effect and, and create some feeding spells. But um, if I don't have a fish through the night, um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Don't forget to head over to that video, guys. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, and um, we'll get you entered into that competition. Tight lines for now. Evening, you carpy lot. Right, um, as you can see, it is pretty dark. Um, and I did say I'd see it in the morning. Um, but I've had nothing but bream up that end. I've been absolutely hammered by bream. So um, I decided to, a little move was on the cards. I was booked in for swim one. So um, I've moved down to swim one now. Uh, yeah. I mean, if you could see out onto the lake, I'd show you, but... I mean, it just looks so carpy down here right now. Um, when I come down with the first load of gear, you could see where people had been spotting out. And um, I mean, this swim, I think, was vacated at probably about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock this morning. Um, so, I mean, there's been no lines in the water since then. And I thought, Do you know what? Come down here, see what he's saying. So, I've got all three rods out. I'm feeling really confident. Really confident now. Um, what I haven't done is I haven't put my bivvy up. Uh, so I'm kind of slumming it under the stars tonight. The wind we had earlier has completely dropped off now. So, um, yeah, it's, it's warmed up a little bit as well. Hopefully, that switches the lake on and we can get the carp feeding. Um, I haven't really put a lot of bait out because I really don't think I need to, to be honest, because of the amount of bait that's gone in over the weekend. So, here we go, let's see. Round two, tight lines. Right, right you carpy lot. The move has paid off. I've been in that spot, what, not even half an hour now. Um, and I've just had this lovely 10 pound common, yeah, on the middle rod. Took to a tall uh, pineapple slime ball. I love it when a move, when a move comes together, beautiful. All the better. Right, I'm gonna get a couple of snaps and slip him back. Right, so we're just gonna let this one swim off back home. To unzip the sides. There she goes. Good morning, you carpy lot. Guess what? That's it, yes. Off of that spot again. The move is definitely paying off. That's two carp now, yeah? Um, 
So, just had a little wake up call. I think it's about six o'clock in the morning now. Yeah. Oh. And we've just had, it wasn't exactly a screaming run because I was locked up quite tight. But we've just had this lovely little beauty take to the pineapple slime wafter again from the tour baits on the IQD rig. The uh, middle rod again, um, I've kind of swapped everything round though, so my middle rod is now my left hand rod. Um, yeah, right, so let's, uh, let's put her back and see if we can get another one out. Tight lines, guys. Hello, you beauty. Welcome back to Carping UK with Scotty P. And have I got something special for you in this net, um, in this cradle, sorry. So, not even after an hour of uh, putting the rod back out on the same spot, if you watch uh, my first video, I will show you where my spot is, just down by the waterfall down there. So I've just had this beauty, 25 pound. Um, I believe it's one of the new um, fish that's been transferred from the middle lake uh, by the bailiffs. Absolutely stunning fish. Not a scrape on her. Oh, 25 pound on the nose. Let's flip her around. Oh. Look at that. What a sight. And a new PB. Get in. Buttons on. Oh. Actually, see here, yeah. A few days. <laughs> right, afternoon, new carpy lot. Uh, so yeah, as you see, the move has definitely paid off. I've had. Uh, Three fish in the night in the end. Um, one at about, I think it was about half past one after I moved in. So it wasn't long after I got all set up and that. Um, and then I had another one at about, I think it was about four, half five this morning, half six. Um, yeah, I think it was about half six. And then at, around about seven o'clock this morning after resetting the rod, so I hadn't even been out there half hour, 45 minutes. Um, I mean, it just lifted, the, the line just lifted out of the water. I've never seen a take like it before in my life. It was beautiful. The alarm started going, I hit into it and instantly I knew it was a bigger fish than what I'd had. So my knees went, I'm not gonna lie to you, my knees went. Um, yeah, so, I got that one landed and you've seen a lovely picture of that and I've just had confirmation that it is um, one of the new, uh, well I say new, they're not new, <laughs> it is one of the fish uh, that has been transferred down from the middle lake by the bailiffs um, which they're trying to restock uh, this lake with and like I said it was absolutely pristine. Um, my, my hook hold was probably the only only one that you could really see in its mouth um, and I 
think it might be the first time it's been out since it's been put in here, uh, which was three weeks ago. Yeah. So, so I took the rods out of the water for a little while earlier after the 25 pounder, um, if I'm honest, I needed to go and get my car so that's ready because I was in the other car park, which is a bit of a, a bit of a long walk. Um, and I just wanted to make sure I'm ready for when I pack down um, later on today. So I haven't got such a long walk with a barra. Um, just push it up the hill and uh, get everything packed into the car. Um, yes, you may notice that the bivvy is up. I didn't last all night out under the stars. That's not because it got cold. We started to have a little bit of a drizzle um, last night not long after I had uh, the first fish. Um, and I wasn't really prepared to get wet and I didn't know if it was gonna absolutely chuck it down or if it was just gonna be um, like a fine little drizzle for 20 minutes or what so. Um, but by the time I'd got the bivvy up, to be honest, it had stopped, so. But the bivvy was up, I weren't taking it back down. I just shoved everything inside. Um, and got my head down for a couple of hours. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully um, I'll have another carp on the bank soon, so I can show you that. Um, but if not, tight lines, and I'll see you soon. Right then, you carpy lot. Um, that's it for the end of this um, episode of Carping Forever UK with Scotty P. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, yeah, uh, for more content. Um, it's been a brilliant session um, this time round. Who could have thought that I was gonna get my PB? Again, something that I could only wish to share with you guys. 25 pound, it was a chunk. They were all caught on the IQD rig, which um, I tied in my last how-to video, which if you click the link above me here, that will take you straight to that and show you how to tie the IQD rig that, that I tied for this session. They were also caught on the pineapple slime wafters from Tor Baits. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can head over and check them out as well. Um, guys, don't forget to go over to Facebook and um, like my Facebook page, Carping Forever uh, UK Scotty P. Um, and also, just a reminder that we have got the uh, free giveaway competition to hit 300 subscribers. So don't forget to watch that video, watch it all the way to the end yeah and follow the instructions all right guys anyway for now that's me out tight lines guys